Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Twin Flame Journey Charm Readings. And let's begin. And just keep in mind that this is a general reading. Hope you're all having a good weekend. See what messages comes through. There's someone in this reading who is tired of of playing, meaning tired of not taking it seriously, tired of, um, I feel like something that is um, like irresponsible, not taking responsibility, not um, doing their part. This person is thinking about making a decision if they should continue the way that they're going or should they let go? This playful energy I see here, I'm holding on um, very tightly to something that is not moving forward. I don't feel this is divine masculine here. I feel like this may be somebody who is connected to divine masculine. Um, shows here that uh, they are not really um, serious and they're thinking if they should continue to um, move move this. It's like, should I continue to hold on to this and let it drag as it has been? Or should I let it go? Um, I see this person being very tired. Uh, I see something about tired of... Um, tired of showing a part of them that does not exist so it's like sh trying it's like pretending it shows here trying to give an image that does not exist uh, this person has really um, done a lot of things that has to do with um, something about appearance um, the way things are the way things that they that they're trying to portray something and uh, they are tired of um it's like tired on putting putting on this um act something that they are not it feels like um this person is a little bit tired and drained from trying to pretend uh as i mentioned earlier about the playfulness uh, i feel like that playfulness playfulness has to do with um playing a game or um, playing playing a character or a role or something like that. It's it's that kind of playfulness. This person did it because they wanted to hold on. I see here they're in that decision making whether I should continue to play this uh, role or to um, act in this way or should I let this go because I feel like um, pretending to be something that they are not has really uh, drained this person. It's like they didn't expect that acting would be um, exhausting. But being natural, like if you're natural, that's natural, right? You, it, it's effortless. But to, to pretend to be somebody that you're not requires a lot of energy. And this, this person, I feel it's a karmic energy here. It just shows that there is somebody who is um, using that playful side of them to uh, create an, an appearance or an image uh, which has become very tiring for this person. There's no movement here.
Part of this has to do with uh, keeping Divine Masculine in that confusion. I see here that this person was um, saying certain things or doing certain things to keep Divine Masculine in a confusion, lost. There was no clarity for this Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine, um, yes, imagined a lot of um, Phil and what I see here. The Divine Masculine made a decision when they connected with this person to start something new, something exciting. Um, it started with the conversation that took place. I feel a phone call. It could, could have been something that first started this connection or for these two to come back together um but this and this masculine feels that whatever that they have been involved in um with this person so this relationship whatever it may be uh they feel that this is not meant for them it shows here that they feel that that they are not, um, this connection is not really um, supported by the divine. They feel like maybe I'm not, I'm not on the path that I'm meant to be on. Maybe this is not what God has planned for me. Maybe this is not the person that is meant for me. So this to my masculine is starting to question and starting to um, see things in, in a different light. Kind of like, this is something I wanted, but is this what was meant for me in the first place um being in that confusion made divine masculine question a lot there was a lot of immaturity here i see immature um immature energy from both both parties so divine masculine and this um karmic situation there's an image immature um i feel behavior and shows uh immaturity in their way of expression expressing emotions so um there's a lot of again the playful energy comes in here pretending to be better uh, pretending to break up pretending to um uh stand up for someone else it's like i don't need you i can if i want i can uh, meet somebody else that sort of thing there's there's a few things that's showing here about that playfulness immature behavior back and forth i'm um, trying to um, create some sort of emotion in the other person whether it be um, bitterness jealousy um, making them feel doubt like they are that they can be replaced so there was a game there was some kind of playful um playful and uh, i feel like it's back and forth this there was no maturity in this in this connection whoever this resonates for but i see here that whoever this um karmic and this divine masculine is there was this back and forth of uh you made me jealous i'll make you jealous if you think you can find somebody so can i there's something like that because i see something about bitterness emotions um showing that if they wanted to separate they can um showing that if they want to uh, pursue another relationship they can um there's something about leaving the home as well. Um, some of them might say, I, I'll move, I'll leave. Um, because I see something about taking away taking away um, things uh, and leaving. Uh, some of them may have said, I'll move back home. Um, that home could be at a distance. It could be in a different city, a different country, because I see major travel here as well. So there was back and forth between these two. It was a game. A lot of immature energy in this reading for these two. Even the idea of marriage, the proposal, giving an offer, giving a ring to start a new beginning. Um, that has, it's like the excitement has been taken out of that. In the beginning, when this um, promise or this offer was discussed about between these two, uh, it was a loving feeling like, Oh, we're in love. We're going to take this relationship to the next level. Um, we're going to start a new beginning. Uh, we're so lucky that we have each other. We are a perfect match. Um, but there was a lot of inner work that these two didn't. I feel like they avoided because I see here something about Divine Masculine intuitively knew that he needed to work on things or he or she needed to work on things. And this karmic person... 
and they completely neglected whatever they needed to work on in their individual path. Um, so when these two came together, because they're energetically, they were, um, there were similarities, they were drawn together, right? When they came together, they're like, okay, we're in love, we're going to take this relationship to the next level. And they may have even shared this information with a few people, there's something about um, when this offer was made um, to whether it be a proposal or um, engagement, wedding, whatever the case may be, there was a lot of talk about celebration. Um, but that has kind of like, like the excitement is no longer there. It's like now time has passed. And now this, this, um, I feel that part of their relationship no longer carries, um, that that kind of like um i feel like they don't have a gratitude or they don't feel grateful um or um, blessed in any way when it comes to their connection it's more like yeah a promise was made we we decided to do this but but now they have all this other stuff that they are questioning um so the karmic person this reading is is tired they're tired of um, portraying an image, they're tired of playing a part, it shows here playing a part, uh, it has created some sort of exhaustion, Be not being myself is exhausting, that's what it is basically, not being myself is exhausting, I didn't expect, expect myself to feel this way, because I feel like the, the authentic self was not expressed by either party, neither of them were were truthful neither of them were natural neither of them were open completely open to each other but they went along with the idea of marriage they went along with the idea of commitment because at the time it, it sounded exciting but shows here that that excitement has died down it's it it's not there anymore it lost its um spark the the excitement is gone because they are not the flames right <laughs> they are not the twin flame counterparts so there's not going to be a flame there the excitement the love the desire the um divine love the passion um the happiness the joy that comes with the connection between the divine mask and divine feminine because being one soul right but these two they try to create some kind of um it's like to invoke or to create some kind of uh emotion within them that did not even exist to begin with let's mimic how it's like to be the twin flame twin flame pair let's mimic what it it's like to be that divine divine love that counterpart but it didn't last divine feminine in this reading uh very strong divine feminine the queen very strong um spiritually evolved grown a lot um very connected to the divine uh, you have it's kind of your balance but between the 3D and 5D shows here that you're connected to the divine at the same time you are um, you are balanced and you uh, remain kind of like uh, you have you have a strong foundation when it comes to to your spiritual path, your spiritual growth and who you are and being in the 3D. You've created a very strong, strong stability, a structure for yourself energetically as well. In the past, there were some things that were very um, shocking to the Divine Feminine to learn about. Um, this could have been information that was revealed to the Divine Feminine by other people. Um, but that doesn't really matter because you... You have evolved, you've learned a lot, and certain things no longer 
I feel like no longer bother you or um, they do not they do not disturb you in any way when it comes to your energy. Like your energy still remains in balance. Um, no matter what you hear, it's like it's not going to not it's not going to change anything. You are unshakable. That's what I see here. Unshakable. Because you've done a lot of cleansing. You you know what you need to do. It shows about um having lots of uh, dreams, desires, goals, and uh, you have already stepped into the new. So the energy that you are in is something that is going to bring you into, I feel, into greater, um, it's like a, a greater abundance, greater prosperity, greater, um, a new beginning that is a new energy for you. So I see something about even when it comes to love, uh, your dreams, your desires, your heart's desires um, will be will be more clear and the energy that you put out there will come back to you. So anything that you are putting out there, it could be even for manifestation, you will be able to draw things even quicker um, than, than you have um, in the past. While Divine Feminine is busy doing their thing, there's... There's forward movement that will take place. Uh, this has to do with the Divine Masculine. Uh, divine Masculine um, trying to see what is the next step. But coming to a conclusion or some kind of like agreement that this is, the, this is what I'm planning to do or this is what I will be doing. Because uh, this Masculine intentions is to restore not only balance but to restore some sort of communication or connection with divine feminine uh, so they will take a path and some will physically move there's physical movement here so some will physically move towards the divine feminine it might be even a just a quick trip or an actual move i feel like you two are at quite a distance here because i see a lot of um things having to do with distance travel um some of you may have not even met um in person um physically in person maybe you you've been communicating or had communicated um through you know online or something like that or by phone or something but um some of you have met each other uh but there is something about traveling a distance. I see um, across across waters here. This uh, this divine masculine is is really sad how things turned out with this karmic person. They didn't expect things to um, be this way. Uh, they will speak their truth, and they will speak their truth first in front of the karmic person. Um, so they will stand up for what they feel is best for them and I see here that they will also speak their truth to family members so they will share what they feel and one more thing I see here is that there's a number of things that this divine masculine um, has to feel when it comes to love um, things that has to do with the heart chakra uh, there is a little bit of clearing out to do uh, this has to do with reconnecting with divine feminine loved ones people who are in a similar vibration to uh, what the divine masculine is i feel like guided to go towards so he is being not only guided but he is being drawn towards a higher vibration and that is connected to family members loved ones um, divine feminine people who have been divine masculine support system so uh, he is being kind of like um, gravitating towards energies that are like um, in balance and that are a higher vibration where divine masculine is guided to to become. It's like he is guided to to grow. He's guided to become stronger as a counterpart. And now he's being drawn towards sim similar and like energies. So this is the reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. And thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.